All right, VSC crew, Saturday morning, brief. Have a quick look. Warm up, three rounds, 10 Spider-Man push-ups, straight into a 20 second plank hold. A 20 second bar hang, or we'll go through the inverted hang, 10 glute bridges and a 20 second glute bridge. This will be your first workout where some people are gonna have some equipment, some people are gonna have a kettlebell, some people will have a pull-up bar, but there's gonna be three different variations of the workout. So. 15 minute AMRAP, nine strict pull-ups. If you don't have a pull-up bar, but you have a kettlebell, you're gonna do nine single arm kettlebell rows on both arms. If you have neither of those, you're gonna do a 15, uh, sorry, 15 reps of an inverted row. 15 hand release push-ups, knees or toes, and then 21 Russian kettlebell swings. Uh, no equipment variation will be 21 jump squats. After that, the auxiliary piece is four rounds, 30 seconds of a hollow hold flutter kick, 30 seconds of a lying leg lift on both sides and then a 30 second rest. Today's mobility, very simple. Just stretching the glutes after all the jumping or the swinging. Um, hamstrings, they should be nice and long by now. And then a two minute down dog. So first things first, the Spider-Man push up. You can do these on your knees or you can do these on your toes. Basically holding a plank position. As you come down into the push up, you're gonna bring your knee in and then up. And again, the other side up in up in if you need to go to your knees aim to go down still pull the knee in still pull the knee in go after that you've got your 20 second plank hold just hang out in the plank follow me across the gym now to be clear do your inverted rows on anything or something that you have around the house. Use a table, that's a really good example of something you can use as an inverted row. Just be careful, probably don't do it on a glass table. That would make no sense. Use something that is sturdy. Again, if you don't have something sturdy enough, use a bag, tool bag, backpack, or anything, and do similar to the kettlebell rows that I'll show you when we do the workout. So if you don't have anything to hang on to, or a bar hang, just hold on to your piece of machinery. Now, for your inverted hang, just hang out on the bar. You can then lay back down straight away, do your 10 glute bridges, and then hold for the 20 seconds. <clears throat> right, that's your warm up, three rounds. Then, for your workout, three different variations, three different options. If you have a pull-up bar, whether you're doing it at home, in the park, on a beam, again, get creative with the, uh, the piece of equipment that you're using. From the high hang, nice and tight, chin goes over the bar, come all the way down and through, rinse, and repeat. If you do have a kettlebell, something we should have probably have got earlier, You'll do nine single arm rows. So just leaning forward, pulling the kettlebell up in towards the armpit. Nine on each side. All heading back to do the inverted row. Hanging out on the bar, the table, the chair, whichever one it is, nice long position, pulling yourself up, so straight arms, chest touches, the bar, the table, the chair, the bench, whichever one it is, cool. Then 15 hand release push-ups, chest touches the floor, hands come up, push. Go onto your knees, down, up, press, down, up, press. And then your 21 Russian kettlebell swings. Now Russian kettlebell swing is a kettlebell. It's gonna go just above eye height. Keep your back nice and straight. Squeeze your glutes and hips as you drive forward, let the kettlebell swing up and come back through. Your non-equipment scaled variation is to squat and jump 
Don't stress too much about how high you go. It's just about leaving the floor. And again, simulating the hips, pushing forward. Rather than worrying about craziness and getting too high. Cool. All right, for your auxiliary piece, once that's done, the 15 minute air wrap, have a small drink, have a break, and then head straight into four rounds. 30 seconds on, hollow body flutter kicks. Make sure your shoulders are up, abs tight, lower back push down, short kick in the legs. To scale the variation, what you may do is bend your knees a touch, still lift up, and then move through the hips. Or again, just the longer you go, the harder it will become. But you just want to hit for 30 seconds holding that position. Your lying leg lifts. Don't get sucked into these. These actually hurt a lot more than they needed to. 30 seconds. Just relax on the floor. Keep your hips down. Lying on your side. 30 seconds on one leg. And then you'll swap and do 30 seconds on the other. And then you'll have a 30 second rest. For your mobility, last part, pigeon pose, stretching your glutes after all those leg lifts, after all those swings, and after all of the jump squats, or whichever variation you do, you're gonna need to stretch your butt a lot. You guys will notice we've been doing a lot of hip stretching, a lot of opening up, and you should be prioritizing this at the moment because we've got the time. Pancake stretch, legs out to the side. You can use your kettlebell to help pull yourself down, but otherwise just relax. The lower you go, the better. And then your last, but not least, stretch. Two minutes, down dog. Pushing your heels down into the ground, straightening your legs, pushing your head through, and just relaxing. Cool. Have fun with this one. It's a 15 minute air wrap, more about quality than it is about speed. You want good solid uh, strict pull-ups or a nice tidy row. If you're doing inverted rows, make sure your chest touches the bar, the bench or the table. For your hand release push-ups, make sure you do get all the way down. Hands do have to come off the floor and then press up and then do your best to do the hip explosive movement pattern of the swing and or the jump squats. Cool. Have fun, don't forget to hashtag or sorry, handle or tag Vast Strength and Conditioning and I'll see you all for Sunday morning's workout.